Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about the uh, Happy Model Mantis 85. Uh, this model is actually built quite well except for a couple of things that you need to protect. So the first thing that you need to protect is the uh, dipole antenna because it's protruding out here and it's very close to the frame. So the only way that you can protect that is to make sure that when you hit the ground, it doesn't hit the antenna and breaks the connections. So you can use this protection for other uh, quadcopter also to protect the uh, dipole antenna. So basically what I've done here is I've used a rubber band, tie the dipole antenna to the frame here by making a few loops over the antenna and then loop it over the frame. So you need to take out these two screws and then that one, that rubber band will make the uh, antenna stay in place. The next thing that I've done is I use a zip tie. I zip tie it here and then I loop it over the antenna and down here. I cut it just enough so that it won't uh, create a lot of tension but it's just enough slack so that I can uh, use two rubber bands to tie it off, uh, to bind it with the um, antenna. So by doing this way, you can see that the top of the antenna is protected and the side is cushioned by the uh, rubber bands and also the joint here is also cushioned by the rubber band. So if you hit the ground, you can see that it will hit the uh, zip tie first this will absorb the cushion, uh, this will absorb or cushion the antenna so I, it will prevent a break I think and especially this is a uh, small quadcopter the uh, inertia won't be so great so this is how I protect my uh, antenna the other thing that I've done um, is that I use rubber band just to tie around the arms so that I can protect the dangling wires same here with the back and I also tie the uh, power cord to the side of the antenna so that this one fly around and the antenna for the receiver is very well exposed so I just loop it and then tie it down with a rubber band here I don't know how that will affect the uh, uh, receive and tr transmission but I'll test that and let you know and um, with the battery you have four screws at the bottom of the frame so I was afraid that that, that may damage the battery so I've used a rubber band just to tie across here over the leg so that it cushion the battery from the screws and I also use additional two rubber bands to tie the, rub, the battery in place so that it won't drop off and then to further secure that I use the strap to secure this uh, battery so this is now well protected but the main thing that I want to talk about is really this modification to uh, protect any dipole antenna this is just something that I've thought of today and uh, I think that this is a good way to protect a dipole antenna and it will help to absorb and cushion the antenna from breakage. So hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So just remember quadcopter is not rocket science. So see you next time.